Hello guys, good evening. Thank you so much for being on time. All right, I came late one minute. I'm sorry about that, but uh, we are going to replace that minute, all right, at the end of this class. No worries, okay? So how are you feeling tonight, guys? Good? How you feeling? How you feeling tonight, Edgardo? Very good, teacher. Good Excellent. evening. How are good you? Evening. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much for asking. What about you, Elsie? Are you okay, Elsie? Yes? Uh, <laughs> I feel tired. You feel tired? All right. Me too. No worries. All right. Tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> I mean, tomorrow is Thursday. I'm sorry. We are about to complete our week. All right. So how you feeling, Jaime, Alfredo? How's your day today? How you feeling? Good? Uh, good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Nevi, how, how are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How how you doing tonight? How you doing tonight? How are you tonight? Good? Good, and you? Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much for asking. Rebecca, how you doing tonight? Hi, good evening. Good I'm evening. fine. Very good. Very but good. I'm oh, I'm good. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you so much for asking. Gabriela Abigail, how you doing tonight? Mm. Ya good. Con algo de sueño. <laughs> kinda, kinda sleepy, all right? Very good, very good. Camila, how you doing tonight? Yeah, good, good. Excellent. excellent, very good. Not a problem, all right? So let me share this information with you. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, okay? Just a moment. Let's see. Give me one second. We're going to check something right now. Let's see. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, first to the first. Right now, we are going to get motivated just tonight and tomorrow. Okay. So remember that we have uh, the last two nights, right? Remaining today and tomorrow. And I see you maybe in some other classes, right? In the future, hopefully. Okay. So, but, anyways, I'm glad that you guys are here on time. And let me tell you, I feel so proud of you and congratulations because there's many people that they don't like to be, you know, like, you know, taking these classes at this moment. All right. So somebody else or, you know, some other people like to be sleeping, you know, like to be watching TV. So especially if you have Netflix. Right. So you would be like you're watching a movie, relax and Tomorrow, uh, if it is your day off, you don't have to work. Okay, so now let's repeat motivation, guys. Come on, let's repeat everybody. Motivation and a smile. Come on, let's go. Motivation. Motivation. Excellent, excellent. One more time, guys. Like, uh, you feel it. Like, uh, you need to, like, feel that that mood, all right? So, ese, ese, esa manera, esa manera que usted siente ahorita. Like, uh, motivation. Repeat one more time. Motivation. Motivation. Excellent, excellent. Let me let me make this bigger. Okay, so the motivation quote tonight would be the next one, right? So let me explain and let me read it first, and then we will read it back together. Okay, so let's see. It says like this: It doesn't matter what others what others are doing. It matters what you are doing. All right. Let me repeat it back to you. It doesn't matter what it doesn't others matter. Matter what others are doing. Are doing. What others are doing. Are it matters, matters what, you are, what you, are doing. you are doing. All right. So let me explain this real quick, right? So why we are explaining this information? I mean, this quote. Because there's many people, right, that they don't like to see you doing good things, right? There's many people that they like to see you down. Hay mucha gente que le gusta verlo a uno sin hacer nada. Hay mucha gente que le gusta verlo mal a uno. En otras palabras, hay mucha gente egoísta, all right? So, ¿qué quiere decir esto? It doesn't matter, dice, no importa qué otros estén haciendo. A usted que no le interese, all right? Que no le interese qué está haciendo el vecino, el primo, la prima, el novio, la novia, el esposo, la esposa. No. It doesn't matter what others are doing. Are doing. It matters what, what, it matters what you are doing. 
Lo que interesa es lo que tú estás haciendo en este momento. All right. So, very good. So, let's repeat it one more time and let's go ahead and let's rock the class. All right. So, it says like this It doesn't matter what others are doing. Come on, let's go. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter what, what others are doing. Are doing. It matters what you are doing. It matters what you are doing. Excellent, excellent. All right. So, as you can see uh, here, guys, let's see. Now, let me explain the topic that we are going to double check tonight. Just pay attention. All right. Pay attention. The previous topics that we checked last night were simple pass, just no questions. And simple pass, uh, regular statements, right? So, si se fijó, dije, the previous topics that we checked last night were, okay? So, and the topic uh, the topic of tonight would be, let's see, this one. I already sent you some information through the WhatsApp group. Was and were, all right? Was and were. Was and were. Remember, este es el pasado del bird to be. All right, so remember, el, el pasado del bird to be. Lo vamos a explicar bien bonito, así como me hubiera querido que me lo explicaran a mí, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Let's go. First, we're going to double check a video. All right, so, and I want you, you guys, pay attention to this video, all right? So, probably you already checked this video before. However, so let me tell you that at this moment, just pay attention and then voy a ir parando el video y le voy a ir explicando, okay? Just a moment. Statements using the past. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of B. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals we're not all right guys let me explain this part uh at this moment para que no se me no se me vaya a confundir el was y el were son auxiliares como que se estuviera utilizando el do o el did acuérdese de eso qué quiere decir el pasado, esto teacher. el pasado es el pasado del verb to be uh -huh. acuérdese de eso entonces ahorita el maestro ya va a explicar a quién le vamos a aplicar el was y a quién le vamos a aplicar el were. El tema está bien fácil, all right? So, solo quiero que tenga eso en mente, que el auxiliar va a ser was y va a ser were, ¿ok? Y el, el, el verbo no le va a cambiar, ¿ok? So, solamente para que tenga esa idea y no se me vaya a confundir. Ya va, ahorita van a salir los ejemplos. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, 
and day, we will use where. And for the pronouns, I, he, she, and it, we will use was. All right, si quiere le tomo un screenshot para que lo tenga ya capturado, ¿verdad? Para los pronombres, you, we, they, va a ser were. Para los otros, los otros pronombres, I, he, she, she, it, vamos a utilizar was. Acuérdese de eso, ¿ok? Al principio cuesta, pero no es imposible, ¿ok? Let's go. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying we're not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement and the uh, US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. All right, guys, uh, let's uh, double check together what this uh, uh, teacher just mentioned, right? So pretty easy, right? There's no way that, that, you, that you will get confused, all right? So you just need to focus on where you are going to use was and where you are going to use were, okay? So let's repeat, I was born in Korea. Come on, let's go. I was born in Korea. Born in Korea. I wasn't born was in the born United in States. I wasn't I born in the United, United States. States. You were pretty young. You, you were, were pretty young. young. You weren't. Uh, you weren't very old. You, you were very old. old. She was seventeen. She was seventeen. She wasn't in college. She was she she was wasn't college. in college. They were born in the same year. They were born they in the same, same year. year. We weren't born in the same country. We, we weren't born, born in the same country. country. They were in Korea in 1998. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Excellent. Very good. Give me one second. Let me double check another thing over here. I just want to make sure, he, guys, that you she are... Wasn't, I mean, that you understood. I wasn't born the past of... Your English is pretty good. Okay. This part over here, solo quiero clarificar este... Yeah, sí, clarif uh, yeah I just want to make sure. I just want to clear out this information here. And I just want to make sure that you guys understood this conversation. 
si usted se fija aquí, están hablando eh, uh -huh. un mentado Chuck en Melissa, right? Y todo acá se relaciona a que están hablando prácticamente en pasado. Lo que hemos venido practicando toda esta semana y la semana pasada. Ok, dice, Chuck uh -huh. le dice, where were you born, Melissa? Entonces, le dice ahí, ¿Dónde naciste, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Nací en Corea, le dice. Oh, so you weren't born in the United States. O sea que tú no naciste en los Estados Unidos, le dice. No, le dice. I came here in 1999. Vine acá en 1999. Mm, you were pretty young, le dice él, ¿verdad? Tú, tú estabas bien, eras bien jovencita. Yes, le dice. I was only 17. Sí, solo tenía... 17 años, o 17, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí si se fija, también le pregunta D, lo que venimos practicando desde la semana pasada. Did you go to college right away, Liz? ¿Fuiste a la universidad rápido, Liz? No, Liz. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, le dice... Did you go to college right away? Entonces le dice, no, my English wasn't very good. Le dice, mi inglés no estaba muy bueno. So I took English classes for two years first. Tomé dos años, perdón. Sí, tomé in, eh, clases de inglés por dos años primero. Well, your English is really good, le dice él, ¿verdad? Bueno, le dice, pero tu inglés es más que bueno. Thanks, your English is pretty good too, le dice. Gracias, tu inglés también es, es, es buenísimo, le dice. Yeah, le dice, but I was born here. O sea, o sea, él así bien acá, ¿verdad? Le dice, yeah, but I was born here. Sí, pero yo nací aquí, por eso mi inglés es perfecto. Entonces, ¿qué se fijan en esta conversación, my kiddos? What do you see? What is, it's nothing weird. No, no es nada raro, pero what do you see? How, how do you see this conversation? Do you see this conversation in present, past, or future? Past, present. Conversa a conversation in past. Conversation in past, right? So if I uh, if if I do ask a question, if I say, guys, what would be the the, the base form of came? What would be your answer? Come. Come, right? Excellent. If I said, what would be the infinity form of took what would be your answer guys take take right excellent all right what would be the the infinity form of let's see uh go i mean the 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 past form of go went went right Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. And do you have any questions so far about the, about this uh, conversation, guys? Está clara. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy quizy, yes? Easy quizy, easy money. Excellent, excellent. All right, so now uh, let's just jump over, over here. The thing is, uh, what I try to explain here, guys, antes que me pase el otro tema, que acá... Está casi todos los ejemplos que acaba de explicar el maestro. Donde dice, you weren't. ¿Qué le dice? Donde le dice, you weren't. ¿Qué parte le dice? Ok. So you weren't born in the U.S. O sea que tú no naciste. Acuérdense nuevamente. El, el was, el were, el wasn't y el weren't, el weren't son auxiliares como el did y el do. Ok. No se me vaya a confundir, okay? So now let me just stop the, I mean the, the class over here and let me share another with you guys. Let's see, one second. I want you, you guys participate, you know? Give me one second, let's see. Okay. All right, let me know if you're able to see what I'm checking right now. So what we are going to do today is the same thing, right? Simple, uh, simple pass question games. Give me one second. Now it's not this one. Just a moment. Okay, so. 
what is the, the, the dynamic here, guys, is that you need to just build the sentences like the way it's supposed to be. ¿Cuál es la dinámica acá? Que usted me va a poner las oraciones como van, como supuestamente tiene que, que sonar mejor o como es prácticamente, all right? So I'm going to be selecting one by one. And let's see, Edgardo, you my guess, okay? You first. Okay, okay, teacher. All right, tell me. Were you at home yesterday? Were you at home yesterday? Yes. Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Were you, are, were you at home yesterday? Yes, very good. Okay, excellent. Let's see, Gabriela Abigail, be my guest, please. Go ahead. Hola, misma, es la misma. Vamos a ver, hold on. No se preocupe. All right, go ahead. There were, they were, they were for class late. They were late for class, right? Late for class. Okay, excellent. Very they good. were Everybody. late for class. Yes, and no worries, guys. Try to open your mouth. Remember, no tenga miedo. Siempre abra, abra un poquito la boquita para que se le oiga bien la fonología, la fonética que usted tiene cuando expresa sus palabras. Okay, very good. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, Elmer, be my guest, please. Hello, teacher. Go ahead, Emmer. Was Danny at the party yesterday? Was Danny at the party yesterday? Everybody's agree about that. Remember the the, the formula. Suena bien. Yes. Mm -hmm. Está bien así o sería Danny was at the party yesterday? Or, no. was Dan, or was Danny at the party yesterday? Primero es el pronombre, was ¿verdad? Exactly. Was Danny. Mm -hmm. Remember, remember the formula, right? The formula. We need to go ahead with the formula. The, the formula that the previous uh, teacher uh, mentioned, right? So we are mm -hmm. with the subject. Ah. The auxiliary. Danny was. Danny was at the party yesterday. Okay. I'm just Okay, excellent. Very good. Good job, guys. Good job. Let's see. Uh, Rebecca, please be my guest. Go ahead. The children. The children were sick last week. Excellent. Very good. Very good. You see? So, in este caso... Yo sé que ustedes ya lo captaron, ¿verdad? Pero se lo voy a explicar para sacar dudas. Cuando estamos hablando de niños, de, de automóviles, de animales, acuérdese que ellos van... Eh, eh, eso no es que le vamos a decir eso. Sí le podemos decir eso, ¿verdad? Ese animal, ese carro, ese... Es, ¿Cómo le digo? Ese carro, es eso, esa refrigeradora. Sí, le podemos decir así, pero en este contexto, como estamos hablando de niños, ¿quiénes son los niños? Ellos. Ellos, ellos, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, pero si es, sería en day. Ex, no, exacto, exacto, exacto. Eso es lo que quiero llegar, eso quiero sacar esa, 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 esa duda. Que yo sé que se, la, se le va a meter en su cabecita y se va a ir con eso y después va a decir, le hubiera preguntado. Los niños son ellos, ya quedamos claros. Entonces, ahí ya no le vamos a dar vuelta a, a, al asunto porque ya sabemos que los niños son ellos. ¿Y quiénes son ellos? Son, son el sujeto. En la fórmula sería el sujeto, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso, mi estimada Rebeca empezó. The children were sick. Es como el ejemplo anterior que decía Dani, va. 
Exacto, pero en Dani. Exacto, pero acuérdense que Dani estamos hablando de Dani, que ya sabemos que es uh -huh. Dani, tercera persona, que es él. Él sería uh -huh. él. ¿Verdad? Entonces, very good, very good. Ok, Elsie, la miro sonriente. Ok, be my guest. Go ahead. The where late west for the party. Mm, acuérdese, late west acuérdese de la fórmula. Acuérdese de la fórmula. Si la apuntó, míreme la fórmula y es primero el subject. Lo mismo que acaba de decir la que acaba de decir Rebeca. La misma pregunta where, casi. Sería where the late. Mm, ¿Cuál sería ahí el sujeto, guys? Uh, the late west. west. The guests, the guest were late for the party. For the were party. late for the party. Excellent. Very good. Acuérdese de eso. Very ah, good. Very good. Teacher, teacher, Dígame. aunque no, aunque no sea una pregunta, siempre el auxiliar va al principio. El va primero va. Acuérdese el sujeto. El sujeto que es, en este caso, lo que acabo de explicar. Va. Si estamos hablando los guests, ¿quiénes son los guests en un hotel? Cuando le digo, cuando, por ejemplo, si yo, cuando yo les, se ha fijado que yo les digo, be my guest. Cuando yo le digo, be my guest, quiere decir como, sea usted mi, ¿cómo se? Anfitrión. Como mi anfitrión. Uh -huh. Entonces, si usted llega a un hotel, le dicen, ¿cuántos guests van a ser? ¿Y quiénes son los guests? Mi estimada Elsie. Nosotros, ¿verdad? Si, si están hablando, somos nosotros. Entonces... Eso es lo que quería llegar yo, ¿verdad? Que no se me vaya a confundir, solamente hay que exteriorizar la pregunta, ¿verdad? Si habla de, de gueses, de animales, de cosas, pero si habla de, de, de varios, usted ya sabe que son ellos, ellas, nosotros, vosotros, y así sucesivamente. Si ¿Sí estamos claros ahí. ¿Yes? Ok, miro bien sonriente a mi compañera Camila. Ok, Camila, be my guest, please. Ay, Dios mío. Um, they, they were mm -hmm. you good, you good. Um, last weekend. Excellent, excellent. Good job. Right on. My class. Okay, let's see. Uh, vamos a ver quién más está por acá. Uh, mi estimada, la miro bien seria. A mi estimada Carly Sarayi. Carly, you my guess, okay? Go ahead. Vamos a ver, permítame. Easy, easy, quizzy. Go ahead. We in where in? Mm -hmm. We alone. We were in Alan. That's what you said. Alan. We were in Alan. Let's repeat. We we, we, we weren't alone. We weren't alone. Very good. Okay. ¿Qué quiere decir, qué quiere decir eso? We weren't alone. Um, estamos solos. No estamos solos. Sí, Excellent. Sí. Excellent. Okay. Mi estimada uh, Navy, please be my guest. The concert was good last night. The concert was good last night. Easy quiz. So very good. Excellent job. All right. Let's see. So where can you know, está participando por acá? Let's see. A question, teacher. Sure. Go ahead. Tengo la duda en el caso de que cuando es una pregunta, no es necesario que el sujeto vaya primero o vaya segundo. O sea, siempre va a ir el sujeto primero. Y aunque sea una pregunta o sea una oración normal. De acuerdo a la, pre de acuerdo a la pregunta, es, se va a ir siempre el sujeto, ¿verdad? Siempre el sujeto. Mm. ¿Y si es una oración normal? También, también. también. Ahorita, solo, sí. Ahorita estamos solamente creando la oración de acuerdo a lo que vimos en el video, ¿verdad? Cómo va estructurado. Pero ahorita, pregunta y oración, siempre va a ir el sujeto 
primero el verbo que puede ser where was, was and weren't, and then the complement. Okay. Si ¿Sí estamos ahí, very good, very good. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's see. Mr. Mado Alvaro Canales, be my guest, please. Si ya salió, no se preocupe. Usted dele. The children were sick last weekend. I'm sorry? The children? Me repite nuevo. Eh, Alvaro, creo que fue dijo. Alvaro Carlos. Okay, the children were sick last week. Excellent, very good. Denise Rosalia, please be my guest. The guest, the guest late. The guests. The guests were. The guests were. Late for the party. Excellent. Very good. ¿Y quiénes, y quiénes son los guests? Los invitados, ¿verdad? Los anfitriones. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Uh, healthy. No sé si puede participar. Bueno, Gabriela Abigail Guzmán. Please. Uh, let's be my guest. Después va usted, Wendy, Graciela. Ok, ya la vi que quiere participar. She library wasn't... No, 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 no. She wasn't at the library. She wasn't at the library. Very good, very good. Everybody agree with that? ¿Todos están de acuerdo? Yes. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, Wendy Graciela, no sé si ya participó. No, teacher. Okay, you may guess, okay, let's go. Después va usted, Waldo Hernández. Um, <laughs> they weren't. Mm -hmm. They weren't uh, home. Mm -hmm. Last weekend. Excellent, excellent, very good. Easy, wheezy. Oswaldo, si no participado, usted es next. Okay. The weather was hot last Sunday. The weather was hot last Sunday. Let's repeat everybody. The weather was was hot last Sunday. The weather was hot last Sunday. <laughs> Only Edgardo mentioned that, all right? So very good, Edgardo. <laughs> no problem. All right, let's see. Anybody else want to participate? Anybody else? Just levantame la manita. Yo le giro la ruleta. Susana, okay, Del Carmen. Okay, let's go. Creo que sí lo dijimos, ¿verdad? Permítame, le vamos a poner otro. También. O sea, Ok, dígame este que está aquí, mire. Este me está poniendo la manita. It wasn't cold last Saturday. It wasn't cold last Saturday. Excellent. Very good. Anybody else? Any other volunteer? All right. If you don't, if you don't want to participate, anybody else? Remember, guys, if you don't participate to your learning process, Oswaldo Hernandez, okay, go ahead. Your learning process would be, you know, longer. Go ahead. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Boom. Explotó, mi estimado Osvaldo. Okay, let's go. One more time. Five, four, three. I was six, two weeks ago. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Identificó el número dos, ¿verdad? Sí, two. Número dos. I was sick two weeks ago. All right. Very good. Excellent. Anybody else? If you don't, let's go. Okay. Let's just stop over here. Let me just pass a list at this moment. One second. Let me just share something over here. Okay, one second. Let me pass the list. Okay. Just a moment. Okay. Just a moment. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me know if we are in the right uh, list. Alvaro Mauricio Canales be a Toro. Estamos en la lista correcta, guys. Yes. Alvaro Mauricio Canales Via Toro. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ana Maria Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. She's not here. Bre Brenda Rachel uh, Abrego Arevalo. Brenda Rachel Abrego Arevalo. En el chat le escribió que presente. ¿El qué me escribió? Presente en el chat. Ok, excelente. Ok, Camila Alessandra con suegra Arias. Present. Thank you, Miss. Carolina Elizabeth Beltran Iraeta. Carolina Elizabeth Beltran Iraeta. Clara Judith Rodas Pacheco. Clara Judith Rodas Pacheco. Denise Rosalia Hernandez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Edgardo Ernesto Escobar Polanco. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, sir. Elmer Giovanni Perez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Elsie del Carmen Sandoval de Ventura. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Gabriela Abigail Guzman Bonilla. I'm here. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Genesis Abigail Hernandez Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Jaime Alfredo Lemos Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jonathan Adonai Hernandez Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Jose Oswaldo Hernandez Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Karen Xiomara Nunez Frejo. Present. Thank you, miss. Uh, Karina Jamilet Hernandez Canales. Present. Thank you, miss. Carla Elizabeth Navarro de Hernandez. Yeah. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, Carla Sarai Ramos Otero. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Kathy is Sir Guzman de Ramirez. Kathy is Sir Guzman de Ramirez. She's not here. Uh, la, let's see. Lázaro Alberto Guerrero Melendez. Lázaro Alberto Guerrero Melendez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, let via Eloida Aquino de Alvarado. Letvia Eloida Aquino de Alvarado. Yo la vi aquí ahora a, a Letvia. All right. Maria Jose Chavaria Chavaria. Maria Jose Chavaria Chavaria. She's not. Oh, okay. Nevi Isolina Vasquez uh, Gomez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, miss. Oswaldo Stanley Morales Hidalgo. 
Oswaldo Stanley Morales Hidalgo. It's not here. And Rebecca Vanessa Flores Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, Miss. Rodrigo Alexis Mata Beltran. Rodrigo Alexis Mata Beltran. It's not here. Susana Del Carmen Rodriguez Martier. Present teacher. Thank you. And Wendy Graciela Castillo Gonzalez. Discussed also. Uh, thank you. Jemmy Jemilet Batres Flores. She's not here. All right, so, si no le mencioné su, su nombre, me lo dice antes que cerremos la clase, por favor, para ponerle su asistencia, ok? Vamos a ver. Permítame un momento. Ok. All right, guys, let me share some information real quick. All right, let's see. Present teacher, Brenda, okay. All right, guys, uh, let's uh, um, answer these exercises that we have here related to the topic that we are checking at this moment, right? So let me ask you, let's see, what would be the answer for the first question, but first we need to read the instruction, right? It says like this, complete each statement, write was or where. For the first question, I mean, for the first sentence, what would be the answer? The weather was or were bad last weekend? The weather was. was. The, weather, the weather was, right? Because we are talking about just one, one weather, right? Very good. My friends uh, were or was at school? Were. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Number three, the movie was or were great? Was, was great. Was. was great. Excellent. Number four, Jack and Sophie was mm -hmm. or were neighbors last year? Were. Were neighbors were. last year. Were neighbors, right? Last year. Excellent. Number five, two months ago? I was or I were in Spain. I was. I was. I was in Spain, right? Number six, the party was or were on Monday afternoon. Was on was Monday was. afternoon. Okay, my sister was or were 18 was. in 2014. Was, was. 18 was. in 2014. Excellent. Number eight, there were or was a great game at the stadium last night. There was a great game at the stadium last night. There was, right? Because we're talking about a game, just one game, right? So in my old neighborhood, there were or there was a mall around the corner. There was well, a mall well, around the well. corner. There was, right? Because yes. we're, we're talking about just one mall. One mall, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mall, mall. Okay, so this mall. May. I'm sorry. Le vi May. Yes, mall. Perdón. Mall, yeah, yeah, mall. Me too. Me too. <laughs> el, el, que, el que vieron, name. Mail. Oh, mail, mail. mail. No, mail, mail. mall. Mall. Uh -huh, mall. Yes, mall. Mall. Mm -hmm. All right, so in the last one, this morning, all the trains were or was late? Were late. Yeah. We're late, was right? Late. Why was? Was. ¿Por qué dicen que was? La mañana. Perdón, no. Leí train. 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 Sí. Mm -hmm. train. This morning, all the trains were late. Okay? All the trains were late. All right? So, si usted se fija acá, corroborando detalles que ustedes me han mencionado durante la clase, obviamente usted puede preguntar y contestarse la pregunta al mismo tiempo, no porque yo no se la pueda eh, exteriorizar de la manera que usted la desea, pero si usted se fija acá, me mencionaban ahí, si puede ir adelante, atrás, en medio, si usted se fija, el, el were y el was puede ir en cualquier, en cualquier parte, pero acuérdense que siempre la fórmula va a ser el qué? 
La fórmula va a ser el subject, el, el auxiliary, auxiliary, where or was, and the complement, right? All right. So, uh, let's see. Si usted se fija, aquí vamos con the weather was bad last weekend. All right. So, very good. Everybody answers uh, this, uh, this, these sentences uh, correctly. So, now, let me tell you, let me explain, or let me show you cómo, cómo está acá estructurado. Se lo vuelvo a repetir. El was y el were son prácticamente auxiliares que es el pasado del bird to be. ¿Verdad? Si no conocemos el bird to be, estamos en problemas, un poquito en problemas, porque se le va a hacer más, más difícil entender el was y el were. Tenemos que comprender al 100 el bird to be. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ahora yo pregunto, ¿Todos estamos claros con el bird to be? Yes, teacher. Yes, we do. Ok, si le pregunto cuál es el bird to be, así random, ¿me lo dicen? Le pregunto cuál es el bird to be, Carly Saray. ¿Cuál es el bird to be para usted? I mean, lo que usted se recuerde, el que le explicaron. El bird to be, ¿cuál es? Eh, she is. Ahí me dijo uno. Ahí me dijo uno. Me di Ajá, pero faltan dos. Son tres por todos. I is I R. I is an R. Ok. Como le digo, si se, o sea, hay que ser, o sea, si no se recuerda, no se preocupe. Obviamente que este ya es parte de otro tema, ¿verdad? Solo estoy haciendo un, un, ¿cómo se dice? Un chequeo para ver cómo están y que ustedes vayan bien. Este, puliditos al próximo módulo, ¿verdad? Que no se me vayan a quedar a las primeras de cambio. Anyways, Bien. dígame. En el caso del verbo to be, solamente es el único que tiene tres. Los demás en, tienen solamente dos. En lo, sí, en este caso solo, solo el verbo to be es el que tiene uh -huh. el, el am, is, and are. Uh -huh. Or el is, are, and am. No, no, eso no afecta el, el como uh -huh. dice el el orden oh, de los aguacates. El orden de los aguacates, eso. <laughs> All right, excellent. Let's repeat. I was happy. I was happy. I was happy. I wasn't sad. I wasn't, I wasn't, sad. wasn't sad. He was hungry. He was she hungry. was hungry. He was thirsty. He was thirsty. Not thirsty. Thirsty, so, so, suavice, suavice, suavice me la T y la H, ¿verdad? Acuérdese del el TH. Thirsty. 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 Excellent. She was a nurse. She, she was a She wasn't a teacher. She, she was, was a teacher. teacher. It was big. It was big. It wasn't small. It, it was small. We were early. We were, we were early. early. We weren't late. We weren't we were late. late. You were at school. You were you at, at school. school. You weren't at home. You, you weren't were at home. home. They were quiet. They were they quiet. Were quiet. Too quiet. They, they weren't noisy. They weren't noisy. Were noisy. noisy. They weren't noisy. They weren't noisy. Okay. As you can see here, guys, usted puede verificar. Tenemos acá las estructuraciones cuando son preguntas, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted, si gusta, le toma un screenshot y lo tiene guardado para su, su records. All right. So, le voy a dar ahí dos, dos segunditos para que le haga un screenshot y lo tiene guardado para sus records. Vaya, eso es lo que le preguntaba, profe, porque fíjese que ahí en la afirmativa, la oración normal, el, el auxiliar se lo, se lo escribe después del, del sujeto, pero cuando es pregunta, se anticipa. Entonces esa era mi duda, si so, siempre va a ser así o siempre va a ser donde sea pertinente. Bueno, cuando son, cuando son, cuando sea pertinente y cuando sean preguntas que usted crea que están bien estructuradas, porque a veces, déjeme decirle de que igual nativos 
o no nativos, cometemos... Acaba de salir un ruidito ahí. Vamos a callar eso. Salen, este... Hay errores, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, donde dice, were they happy? Were they happy? ¿Verdad? Aquí, they were happy. Lo puede decir de las dos maneras. Por eso está aquí cruzado, ¿se fija? Aquí está afirmativo y aquí está en pregunta. ¿Sí me explico? Aquí está afirmativo y aquí está en pregunta. Y si tiene razón, o sea, si tiene sentido lo que usted me acaba de decir, ¿verdad? Lo que no le había entendido yo si era todo oración. Entonces aquí está más explicado, ¿verdad? O aquí está en una, en una oración afirmativo que usted dice, they were happy. They were happy. O sea, lo está, firmita, lo está afirmando. ¿va? She was rich. Was she rich? ¿Sí me explico? Entonces, sí, es que vaya. Uh -huh. eh, no es lo mismo en español. Eh, ¿Comiste hoy? Es una pregunta. Hoy comiste. Es otra cosa. Uh -huh. Entonces, esa era mi duda que yo tenía. Por eso le preguntaba. Pero ahorita que con la, con la imagen, sí, ya me quedó claro. Sí, sí, sí. No, no hay problema. No hay problema. No hay problema. Dígame, dígame. I, I think sometimes the question depends of the intonation. Depends the, the, the context. Depends the context. All right, the context mm -hmm. that, you, that you have. But como le digo, ahorita, créame de que si usted lo toma de esta manera, está más que excelente, ¿verdad? Pero más adelante, cuando usted ya maneje bien el idioma, usted va a decir, este señor dijo mal esta pregunta. A pesar que es gringo, a pesar que es de Inglaterra, de donde sea, porque es que es nativo, ¿verdad? Lo dijo mal, porque él tenía que haber dicho de esta manera. Es como nosotros cuando nos pasa que decimos algo mal en, con mala entonación o decimos un diminutivo horrorazo, ¿verdad? Es como decir una palabra, no viene el caso, ¿verdad? Pero usted diga, este, dendioy, ¿verdad? Eso no existe. Y a mí me ha pasado, a mí me ha pasado, a mí me ha pasado. Yo lo, tenía esa muletilla antes y me la quité. Y decía, Dendió, y fíjese que yo le mencioné es como hace un momento. Entonces usted va a decir lo mismo. No, 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 no. no. This guy just made a mistake. The right way or the right sentence, the right compliment would be like this. Were they happy? O a veces estamos hablando y le ponemos, le ponemos muletillas a todo, le ponemos da, da, T-H-E. A todo le ponemos da, da, da. Y ahí vamos a esa muletilla. Entonces, ahorita quedémonos con esto. Y más adelante, créame de que usted lo va a ir digiriendo de la manera correcta, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita quedémonos con esta imagen acá, ¿verdad? Por eso yo la, se las traje y que no, y que no, tenga, ninguna, no tenga ninguna duda al respecto, okay? So, now, let me just, I believe we do have time. I will send, uh, I, I will go ahead and send you to the break rooms for a couple of minutes. I want you to, you guys, ask some questions to your classmate about what and where. So, you can use these examples that we have here. Si no se recuerda ningún ejemplo, puede utilizar lo que tiene acá. ¿Verdad? Por eso le, le di la oportunidad que le, le tome un screenshot, okay? Give me one second. A ver. I mean, let's me le da este join, please. Let's go. Come on, Jonathan, go ahead and accept join, please. Excellent, Jonathan. Denise, are you by yourself? I'm sorry, give me one second. Let me send you over to a different group. Group number one.
Susana Carmen Rodriguez, join please. Y Rebeca no le salió el join. Me salió, pero me sacó. Oh, lo sacó. Sí, quiero ver. ¿Dónde está Rebeca? No, pero ahí está, ahí está. Con Jonathan. Así va a salir en el room. Ask for help. Yeah, in breaking room. Hello, teacher. Teacher. Teacher, hello. No. Bye bye. Bye bye. No, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, tell me which questions uh, were the ones that you asked each other. Oiga bien lo que les acabo de decir. Which questions were the ones that you guys asked each other? Okay. Ese es un fact, ese es un hecho que usted va a empezar a utilizar ya el were y el was. No se me vaya a quedar que lo va a dejar para, para, para fin de año. Si le, toca, si le toca darle instrucciones a alguien en el centro y le pregunta, hey, do you know, primero es bien diferente, ¿verdad? El where de, del pass of birth to be que el where WH question. Ahí tenga un gran cuidado, ¿verdad? Porque le van a preguntar, hey, uh, do, you know, uh, do you know where is la gran villa? Do you know where is San Vicente? Do you know where is La Unión? I'm lost. You still say, okay, right now you need to take a bus and you need to take a cab and you have to get off here, take a left. You still say, por donde se va a ir, donde quiera que usted esté, verdad? Acuérdese de las direcciones que aprendimos. Take a left, take a right, go down, go straight. Entonces, pero cuando le dicen, ¿Cuáles fueron los temas que ustedes verificaron? ¿Cuáles fueron los temas que ustedes eh, practicaron con Mr. Escamilla? Si viene, por decir, un, un, un nativo, ¿cómo, ¿cómo fuera formulada esa pregunta, guys? Antes que se vayan. ¿Cuáles fueron los temas que practicaron con Mr. Escamilla o, o con, con el teacher? With your teacher. ¿Cuáles fueron? Los temas que se practicaron este mes, vaya más fácil. Which were the what do you say temas in English? Topics. Topics. Which were the topics uh, you practice la, uh, last month? Which topics were the ones that you practice? Ajá, uh -huh, pero. Which were? Which topics, ok, pero si cuando me dice which topics es porque este. Yo le estoy mencionando uno en específico o dos en específico. Pero le digo, what topics, qué temas. Uh -huh. okay. Así en general, which topics were the ones, which topics were the ones that you guys check with Mr. Scamilla. Ok. Which topics, ok. Puede decir, which topic, what topics, ok. Qué temas o cuáles temas. All right. So, to be specific. ¿Qué temas o cuáles temas se chequearon? Pero si usted se fija, ya me tiene que ir practicando el where and was. ¿Ok? Y si yo le pregunto, uh, where were you born? 
Where were you born, Nevi? Where were you born? Kings Point. Where were you born? Es la pregunta que salía en el video. Era la, la primera que se. Where were you born? Sople me. ¿Qué point? ¿Dónde naciste? ¿Dónde, naciste? ¿Dónde naciste? Ah, es... Ay, sí, sí, sí. Born, que en B. Y Ajá, yo where were you born? Uh, I born is... No, is ah, no. Ah. I born... <laughs> no, no. Ahí ya... Uh... Where were you born, Edgardo? I was born in San Salvador. I was born. Where in were 1988. You born? Carly, Carla, where were you born? Hola, teacher, es que siempre me cuesta eh, activar el, el micrófono, pero pregúnteme. Where were you born? Where? I was. I was uh, born in, in Guaymango. Guaymango. I was born in Guaymango. Very good. Let's see the last one. Uh, let's see, let's see. Que antes que se me vayan. Yo sé que ya nos no vamos a ver. Let's see. Mr. Oswaldo Hernandez, where were you born? The mute, Oswaldo. I was born in Santo Tomas. Well, I was born in Santo Tomas. All right. Very good. So, simple questions, right, guys? No se me, no se me ponga así como que, uy, no. Esto solo es para, para verificar que usted aprendió un poquito esta tarde, esta noche. Ay, perdón. Hay una cucaracha en mi cabeza. Pero... <laughs> Dios mío, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so, okay, guys. I'm sorry. Ya lo hice reír, ¿verdad? Voy a hacer con una sonrisa a su, a su, a su, a su camita. All right. Very good, guys. Thank you so much. I Teacher. see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Este, yo tengo la duda que si para hacer una pregunta así con el West y el y el, el what y el where, uh -huh. este es como en algo otro que se pone primero el was y después el sujeto. Es lo que estábamos hablando. Acuérdense que cuando se afirma, se pone primero el sujeto y cuando se pregunta, se pone primero el, el auxiliar. Lo que, lo que vimos anteriormente, ahí, ahí están en, los, en las cositas que les mandé, ahí verifico, ahí está la fórmula, ahí está, se lo mandé ahí el grupo, ok, no. pero de igual manera, mañana vamos a darle una, una repasadita, ok guys, thank you very much, Gracias. I see you tomorrow, have a wonderful rest of the night. Yes. Cuando nos mande a grupos, porque ya me pasó dos veces, cuando nos mande a grupos podría darnos las indicaciones, así que vamos a hacer porque nos quedamos... Porfa. Okay, okay, okay. No, aquí se lo traté al estilo, al estilo universidad. Perdón. <laughs> okay, no, no worries, no, no, no worries, no worries, no worries. Much I will, more famous teacher. I will try. I will try. No, I will try. But you will. You will. Never sleep. Hace mucho, teacher. Hace mucho. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. I see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful see rest you of the tomorrow, night. Teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, teacher. Espera, que no <laughs> All right, guys. Take it easy. I see you tomorrow. Good night. Dreams, guys. Bye, Carly. Bye, Camila. Bye, Elmer. Bye, Jaime. Hey, bye, Elmer. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Take it easy. Have a good night. Good night, Carly. Good night. Good night.